So the new Audi A3 has a brand new exterior and interior design, which is sportier than ever. You got new technologies from the upper class now in the compact segment. And third, we have brand new and very efficient engines and drivetrains in the new Audi A3. So starting with the design, we do have a new design topic in the side. We do have a negative body side, which is brand new for Audi and is the first in the, in the design language. Then second, we do have the new matrix LED headlight with the digital daytime running light. So we were able to create individual daytime running light signatures for different Audi A3 models. Then moving to the interior, we do have a completely digital um, HMI. So you have the digital cockpit as standard as well as the center touch screen, which is 10.1 inch um, in size. So it's, it's brand new and very, very digital for our younger customers especially. Then moving to the uh, driver assistance systems, we do have the presence front as well as the swerve assist as standard, as well as the um, lane departure warning. So it's a very um, big set of standard functions regarding driver assistance systems. And moving to the efficient um, drivetrains, we got a brand new set of TDI engines and we're introducing the 48 volt mild hybrid system within the 1.5 TFSI engines, which allows the car to coast, to boost and to recuperate. The new Audi A3 fourth generation is much sportier, much progressive than the uh, car before. For example, the new single frame is much wider, lowered more to the ground, as, as well combined with this nice uh, honeycomb grille design already available in the entry level, combined with this nice sculpture air intakes, and for sure also this nice modern headlight design. The next highlight is the nice new body side, especially with this negative section with tucks in and has a really nice play with this kind of light source, especially with the quattro theme on both axes combined with this nice body to have a really extreme sculptural design of the side view. The next highlight is especially the new greenhouse. It's much lower and what is also totally new is this new triangular shape of the seat post. It's much more leaned forward, located more on the rear axe and gives really a nice sporty feeling. The windscreen is much flatter and the spoiler is a bit bigger to give a really compact but wide impression of the rear as well. The new rear light of the Audi A3 also has a really nice design, especially with the interior of the line because the vertical oriented um, lights speak a really good interaction, good synergy with the shot line of the trunk. And the night design looks like illuminated. The new Audi interior design is as sportly as the exterior. For example, what you already noticed here are this really immersive cockpit with this air vents combined with the cluster. The next one is the virtual cockpit combined with the HMI display. It's a more like a new digital stage for us. As well, this kind of nice profile which also combines the whole setup of the interior complete together in one row and also speaks a really nice horizontal layout. The same design concept from the dashboard we also transferred onto the center console. Black areas already showing the interface relevant interaction components combined with this really nice profile of the application area. So compared to the predecessor, we have a brand new technology in light design in this new Audi A3 Sportback. So behind me, you see the top of the line matrix LED headlight with a new digital daytime running light. So for the first time, we were able to differentiate different A3 models with a different daytime running light signature. So on this side, you see the, the, the standard car as well as the advanced exterior with two winglets in the digital daytime running light. And on the other side, you see the very sporty S-line exterior with two vertical blades to emphasize the width of the car as well as the big air intakes below the headlight. So this new light innovation is included in the new Audi A3 Sportback and I'm looking forward to how we can bring new variations of this technology to the market in the future. If we take a look at the user interface of the new A3, we see um, that this is a whole new car generation. In front of the driver is the fully digitalized cockpit. Um, in the center, the 10.1 inch touchscreen. Then in addition, um, for the first time in the A3, we have the head-up display. Um, we know the head-up display from, from larger premium cars. Now also a full-size windshield head-up in the A3. Underneath this digital cockpit, um, we have a variety of functions which are still on hardware keys. For example, up here is the, uh, the climate control. Underneath the switch bar with a variety of driving functions, the drive select button, the parking functions, um, and then in the middle console, the, uh, the volume switch. If you go back up to the touchscreen, um, we have all the, the infotainment uh, functionality up here and the um, interaction with the MMI 
is only with touch and of course with a new generation of, of speech which I can start here at the, at the steering wheel. In the center screen, as I said, we have, we have the touch screen. Basically, the, everybody uh, knows how to use uh, a map on their, on their smartphone or on, on a tablet. Uh, the, the pinching gesture for, for the zoom and the swiping gesture for moving in the map. Now, if I look back into the, um, in the, in the cluster instrument, uh, as, uh, as, as uh, most Audis have it, the, the view button for changing from a big map to a small map. In addition, now we have three different styles for the cluster instrument so you can just adjust it the, the way you want it so everybody feels comfortable with it so often a, a car is not only used by one person but by by maybe by the whole by the whole family um, that's why we integrated uh, personal profiles so depending on who enters the car with the cell phone um, the the audi knows who is entering and it will adjust the car just the way this person left it uh, for example, the color of my, my ambient light, the setting of my cluster instrument, the position of my seat, and so on. The second big advantage is also I can take this my personal profile to the next A3. Um, so if I change my car, I just add a user, or me as a user, and then uh, the car takes over the settings as I had them in my last A3.